A health organization and the Arizona Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired are working to create a center that will help underserved communities. Cronkite News reporter Ryan Tismaneski tells us how. At any race, there's a starting line. You want everybody lined up at that starting line, right? Once the gun goes off, some people run faster, some people run slower. That's life. That starting line being healthcare equity. But as Arizona Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired Executive Director Steve Tepper says, some can't even reach the starting line. One of the latest efforts to get everybody to the starting line is a partnership with Taros Health to create the Roosevelt Health Center. This neighborhood lives in a pharmacy desert, lives in a food desert. There is no primary, well, Valley Wise is down the street. There is no primary care in this neighborhood. There's urgent care and an emergency room. And this neighborhood deserves the same access and the same equity that our clients do. And that's what has me so excited about this project. The Roosevelt Health Center will provide primary care, treatment for mental health and substance abuse, and supportive services. Partnering with Arizona Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired, we really um, get to kind of enter into another population that we haven't dealt with before. Taros Health, which has been in the Valley since 1969, makes it their goal to serve underserved communities. As a federally qualified health care center, we accept patients who don't have any insurance, they are unable to pay, right, for health care services, and we provide health care for them. The Roosevelt Health Center is slated to open this summer. In Phoenix, Ryan Tismaneski, Cronkite News.